What's up, guys? This is a uh, camp and bell cost fed field. For sure, I'm saying that wrong. Uh, our folder I found at a thrift store the other day. Uh, 25 bucks, brand new. Around at this time, it was about 100 bucks. Save, obviously, got a newer model of this one. This one is the uh, WS09001. That's the model number of this um, arc loader, 70 amp. Standard duty. This one's a little crusty. You can see it's probably set around for a little while inside the shop or a garage. It wouldn't be like a real shop use arc welder. Um, you've got your work clamp here. And it's got some melted plastic on it. I don't know what's going on with that. I, I hope they didn't. Um, you know, probably the piece that this was attached to got really hot. Uh, this is the way I got it. Now, there's supposed to be a plastic piece that goes right here that covers this part. Um, I actually had to pull this out. They had this piece, this was shoved way down in there um, where somebody had just pushed it in and kind of broke the piece. So, I can uh, remake this on the 3D printer. And this was already in there. So, yeah, that's this is the electrode part right here. And I haven't tried it out, I haven't tested it, haven't plugged it in. Um, I definitely don't want to plug this in without taking the cover off of it and seeing what's going on with it. Um, got your selections here for your different size rods. So in the middle that's off, big rod, small rod. And one thing I noticed right here, um, it has different requirements for your uh, Outlets. This is 15 amp outlet right here required, but if you want to use bigger rod, you have to use a 20 amp outlet. So that's pretty cool. Um, some of you experts out there probably think a little dull, but um, yeah, I saw it down here, but I didn't really notice it right here. So uh, it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and pop the case off and see because when we look right here, there's a, a big rusty spot. I want to make sure that it hasn't been submerged in water or, you know, because sometimes if it's sitting in the garage and it rains, garage floors can flood and all that good stuff. See the transformer here it's it's covered in rust that's to be expected for the age um, i probably should have took these two screws out that probably made it would have made it easier to get the case off of it but other than that i really don't see you know because th this part's gonna rust i mean it's it's no big deal but the windings the primary and the secondary windings here look, look really good I don't see any issues with that. But yeah, but look at this thing, uh, guys, it looks like it should work. I don't see any shorts or anything, uh, nothing obvious, nothing is burned up. These are pretty beefy um, wires right here. Um, obviously, this could be more than it needs, but um, one thing I see right here, this is probably thermal protection. If this gets too hot, um, if you end up grounding it out or if you get stuck, it'll obviously this will heat up and there's a lot of current runs through this, so this right here probably the thermal shut off here it gets too hot or kill the power to the uh, switch um, or kill the power to your uh, electrode but yeah that's 
pretty much it. Let's put this in here together. When uh, putting this thing back together, the case here, the outer case, actually has tabs punched out where it goes over the, uh, the chassis here. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And the screws here with these uh, special washers, make sure that you put them back where you take them off. Before I put the uh, handle back on it, I want to give this thing just a just a wipe down. It's pretty pretty nasty. Alright guys, we got it all back together, we got the case on it. Um, like I said, I didn't see anything that would, uh, you know, apparently to be wrong with this thing. This thing is kind of, you know, robust, built to last. I mean, you know, with it being standard duty, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not going to do anything real crazy, but yeah, I can't wait to put this thing in use, um, or actually, like, make sure that it actually works. And again, I haven't seen anything that's wrong with it. Um, I definitely want to use it, so I hope you guys have a good one. If you like this video,